One of the uh, uh, pretty critical uh, presentations last year in, uh, in Italy was uh, regarding the antigen presenting cell, commonly known as uh, the dendritic cell because it looks like a tree, um, but the, the name antigen presenting captures its function and its role is to, as a macrophage, is to ingest uh, a substance, a cell or a foreign body, uh, and then process that uh, antigenic marker for that object. And then it migrates to the nearest lymph node and presents that information to the lymph node, which then amounts an immune response. Wow. And we know that this uh, the immature macrophage that's awaiting uh, the ingestion of the material, the maturation, maturation process is uh, mediated by the cannabinoid system. And so if you have uh, uh, a system that can be enhanced with exogenous cannabinoids, it's, it's quite possible that that process can become more effective and you have a way of uh, explaining how cannabis is effective in cancers because we know that the only reason a tumor is allowed to exist is because the immune system thinks it's normal. Um, but the, uh, that, that presenting the antigenic material is, is a decision that I believe can be enhanced and, uh, and helps to capture at least a, uh, a speculation as to how cannabis can uh, shift the decision to no longer allow a cancer to exist in the body. Because once the body mounts that response, it migrates over, ruptures the nuclear membrane of the cell with that antigenic marker, that cell is dead and then it's evacuated and removed and uh, the tumor cell by cell is, is removed by the immune system. So we're looking at a system that is normally very, very effective. Uh, I've heard up to a million times a day this system identifies and removes uh, proliferations, which are just benign growths, as well as uh, abnormal dysplastic growths or, or a cancerous growth. And so that decision to remove is really is a pretty key uh, key point in the whole process and um, if uh, exogenous cannabinoids can enhance the maturation um, if not enhance the function of those cells in making the decision um, it can change its perspective on a tumor cell and suddenly decide that wow this stuff's all over the place there's metastasis here and there um, but wherever it is we need to remove it and the immune system is more than capable of uh, going out, destroying, and removing uh, cells that have that surface marker wherever it finds them. And so you see these, uh, these cases where someone has had a, uh, a large uh, space-occupying lesion and suddenly it just gets lighter and lighter and disappears. Uh, that's the process by which the immune system, which is the, the best way to, to approach a tumor, rather than using a chemotherapeutic agent that is targeted to kill cells that are dividing, uh, and then the side effects are if the intestine is dividing, those are killed and you have real GI upsets and hair is dividing real quickly, so those are killed and you lose your hair. So they, they're indiscriminate in their actions where uh, the immune system uh, targets, uh, you, could, you could liken um, the uh, antigenic markers of a cell to an address. And so a very specific sequence that's unique to that cell and the immune system once it's activated will any structure that has those numbers on it, um, it will destroy and remove them. So you have a very focused, very specific uh, reaction that results in the tumor being eliminated without all the side effects associated with uh, kind of indiscriminate chemotherapies and radiations that uh, and it will damage whatever cell they strike. I mean, you, you try to limit the radiation to the tumor, but you end up hitting cells in front of and beside and back of, and so you have a, a lot of side effects with uh, a lot of the uh, traditional uh, anti-tumor uh, medical procedures.